Sean with Down South Magazine. I'm here with the world over here in Sarasota getting ready to play a show. Thank you very much guys for joining me. Um, first I'd like to say anybody who's not familiar with the band, can you guys kind of give us like a, maybe a brief history of the band itself up until now? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, well, we've, we've been a band for almost like four years, four ish years now, and um, from Los Angeles, California, doing some post hardcore at first, and then we're starting to kind of make our way into the active rock world. Um, if we can even call it that, it's kind of a We just mixture. play music. <laughs> we'll let the listener put a label on it. We just, we just play. Our bass player is usually here, but he had to go for a family emergency, so. Okay. But uh, it's usually a four piece. And uh, for fans of Paris or I don't know who else would you use to Tones, Okay. The Horizon, maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's that kind of stuff. So I noticed that uh, from when you guys started back in 2013, you guys were a bit heavier. Your progression has kind of been more on, I would say, focusing more on songwriting. Oh, so absolutely. as far as how your songs are based now compared to there, so how was your progression from? What, was that an idea of like how when you guys first started, was it like okay, this works, but we want to be here? Um, not necessarily. We we didn't really know what we were doing when we first started out. To be honest, um, you know, we all just kind of played played whatever instrument, and like you know, we kind of we all just kind of blend our ideas together in like a melting pot. And, you know, uh, just we didn't really know what we wanted to sound like. We were just playing together pretty much, and, and our songs came out like very metal core. And, um, and then well, it was also our producer at the time. Then really our first, us our in first, that direction. yeah, our okay. first producer was was really able to take the reins on like the writing process and teach us and stuff about like songwriting and stuff. Uh, but even with our first EP, it still wasn't necessarily our sound because we were collaborating with a lot of like different people. Um, and and then you know if you listen to the first EP, Rampart District, and you listen to Mountain, there's a very big difference like in like sonically and sound wise and um, and like the uh, and we took two years just kind of experimenting. You know, we for a while we were writing more songs that were kind of like Rampart District. Then, you know, then we kind of figured that we didn't really want to, like, um, you know, limit ourselves to, like, just that. And, like, we started focusing more on, on just writing good, like, memorable tunes instead of, you know, just putting a bunch of cool riffs together to try and impress people. We wanted to Showcase. really... Showcase. We really wanted to, like, just focus on, on writing, you know, good songs. So. Right. But yeah, as you said, like the song, songwriting definitely like took the spotlight. And that's uh, and that's more the direction that we're going in now. Okay. And yeah. You really tell the difference in like what was actually what we wanted to sound like compared to how we were molded to be like. Okay. In the beginning. So. I'll say it's it's anybody who listened to you guys from the beginning up until now, you can definitely see that. You can see the cha- the big change as far as it was heaviness. The vocals were heavy. And then there was more of a progression into what I would call more of a structured songwriting, to where it wasn't, you know, showcasing or anything, that, you know, metaphor or whatever it may be. It was it's more just, focused, like, okay, these are songs that we're writing. Yeah. Here they are. I mean, you know, as far as, like, what we play, like, you know, we approach it from more of a standpoint of, like, what, what, what can I do that will serve the song, rather than, you know, what can I do to... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, what whatever we play is is meant to like serve the song. It's meant to like, um, you know, it's meant to fill in that that position that whatever instrument is supposed to fill, rather than all of us, you know, playing like everyone show off. Everyone all at the same time. Uh, rather than all of us right. playing this wanky like noodly. Or the vocals that, being yeah. compromised for like, the sake of it to just everything sound good. Yeah, right. we really focus on making all the instruments complement rather than flash, you know? Okay. You guys have done a great job. I mean, like I said, listening to when you guys first started up until now. Thank you. Yeah, there's a huge progression, without a doubt. So, 
kudos on that. Uh, that kind of brings another question, like uh, the last EP you guys put out with the acoustic. Was that something that was kind of planned, or did you guys just say, "Hey, you know, let's let's do these songs acoustically"? It was. It was very spur of the moment. Actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, we kind of, mainly we just wanted something to put out during the holidays. We thought that, that would be a, a good thing for, fan, like, as a gift to the fans, as just a little something different, but something that's still familiar for them. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because we we really started like to gain some real traction. I feel like with, with mountains and you know all those songs like started out on the acoustic guitar and. Uh, and I, we just thought it would be cool to kind of bring it back to its roots around the one year anniversary. Uh, we tried to have it out on the one year anniversary, but it got it got pushed back a little bit. But um, yeah, it was kind of like spur of the moment. But yeah, we're really happy with how it turned out. Yeah, yeah we it's recorded great. it too. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah that one was so wow. produced. No, that was all, that came out awesome. The sound quality and everything. Kudos to you, man. That was <laughs> that's awesome. No, no. Anytime you can do something like that, it's even more kind of uh, self fulfilling because it's like it's your songs, but you're also controlling. You're like, okay, I want them to sound like this. This is how right. they should go. Instead of somebody else, a producer in there saying, well, "Why don't you try this? Or try this." Well, I can't. I can't take full credit. Uh, the guy who who did Mountains for us mastered it, but I but I did all the recording. But you did, yeah. You, you were behind the knob, so. Excellent. Kudos to that, man. That's awesome. So, with that, and that came out in 2017. Do you guys have any plans? I know you guys are supposed to be on this little tour here up until about the 22nd, mm -hmm. I believe, of July. Mm -hmm. Any plans of something tour after that, or possibly going back in the studio to record something? Uh, there are some more dates in the works of being uh, filled in so that we can kind of just make our way home a little instead of just ending in Wisconsin. <laughs> so, uh, if that ends up being a thing, it might just be a couple more acoustic songs or be sorry, acoustic shows so we can showcase a little bit of mental fact for the yeah. end of that cycle. And we do plan on actually releasing a single, hopefully soon. Uh, we've, we've actually held on to it for a long time now, we've been kind of waiting for the right time. Gotcha. Keep them anticipating. Wait <laughs> oh, yeah. Then we'll sure. cut it loose on you. Yeah. Excellent. So, um, that's that's the only questions I have for you guys today. So I'd like to say thank you all for joining us. Thank you. Let thank you guys you. get some chill time before the show tonight. So look forward to seeing you guys. Thanks, man. Right. Appreciate it. Yeah.